Before you start crocheting with your Homely Bliss yarn, you'll need to turn your skein into a ball, otherwise it ends up in a big mess. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how. So get your skein, and the first thing you need to do is open it out. And you'll find it's like a big circle. But you can't see the full extent on the camera, but there you go. So, it's a, so lay it out in a circle, as in a circle kind of formation, and that'll help it not get twisted. If you want to, you can put it around something, like the back of a chair. Um, I tend to just lay this out on the table or on my lap. Um, cool. So the next thing to do is to cut the ties and loosen the ends. So you'll see there's two, so this is a 300 gram skein, and you'll see there's one small tie, two small ties, and then a bigger tie. So the bigger tie is the actual ends of the skein joined together. Um, so we'll do it last. Um, and these ones are just like hold it in place. So we just cut them off. So if you've got a 100 gram mini skein, you'll just have this big tie. You won't have the smaller ties. So just chop those, just one little chop, um, and it comes undone. And the same thing with the second one just pull that out and when you're chopping those just be careful you don't chop the yarn <laughs> you don't want to do that so with this bigger tie where the ends are tied just have a look and you'll find the knot and give that chop that one off you can undo it if you're feeling patient enough and then if you give it a bit of a jiggle you'll find there's another knot as well so it's knotted twice so this one let's see can I undo it you can just um, chop it off because the ends are usually a bit yucky anyhow because it hasn't been <laughs> dyed and it's all scrumply. Scrumply, is that a word? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> okay, so have a look where your ends are. So get your ends and kind of have a look. You may notice one is on top and the other is on the bottom. So this one is kind of coming from the bottom. So I'm not going to wind that end. This one is nice and loose here at the front, so I'm going to I'm going to wind um, the ball from that end. So open it out like that. And so what we do while we're winding the ball is just get a bit loose, so very gently and carefully unravel it from the circle, um, pop it in the middle, and then just wind into a ball. So this is how I start out winding balls. There. Are <laughs> There are many ways. You can even wind it as a centre pull ball. Um, I can even show you that, but I'll show you this way first. So I just wind it around my fingers a couple of times just to get something to start with. I slip that off my fingers, and then I wind around the centre once or twice. And then I fold that over, and that's a nice size to actually start winding in a ball. And then I just I hold that together. And then just wind around and around and around. And there are no bonus points for having the best looking ball. Um, it's purely um, it's purely a functional thing because you're going to crochet from this. So um, just wind however it makes sense for you. So wind, wind, wind. So I'm actually going to undo so you can keep going. <laughs> keep carefully unraveling from the circle and then winding. I'm just going to undo this. I'm going to show you how to do a center pull ball. Now, I'm not the best at these, <laughs> so it's not going to look the best, but the important thing is the technique. So basically, get something to wind around. You can actually just do it with your thumb. So I've just got a 25 millimeter crochet hook. You can just start off with your thumb. I think the crochet hook is a bit easier. And just hold the starting bit along because we want it to be able to be pulled out when we do um, the ball. And it's just a matter of winding around and around and around. And once it gets a bit bigger, you can um, take it off and um, hold it a bit. So it's not, <laughs> see, it's not the prettiest thing, <laughs> but this is enough to get started with. Okay, I'm now going to pull that off. I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my thumb in the middle and just 
keep wanding around and around and around. And if I just pull that out a bit more, I can then kind of go to the technique I was using before of just winding around and around and around. So the important thing with the center pull ball is it's just, you keep this free, so you can just keep pulling, pulling from the center. So just carefully pull out um, from the circle, pop it in the middle, and then keep winding. Now you will find with our homely blessing yarn that there is some bits of grass and other vegetable matters through it. So here's a bit here. Just pull that out. Um, that's just a beaut. So that's what the sheep was eating um, when it grew the yarn, um, grew the wool that you're using. So it's a really beautiful link back to to how the yarn was growing and how it was made um, and where it was growing. So you don't normally get that that link back to kind of the start of the process and what the sheep was eating. Um, so I think it's actually really special and they're easy just to pull out. So this wool, the merino wool, it's all grown and processed in Australia. So it doesn't go off off um, shore at all. There's no offshore processing. Um, so it's 100% Australian and by buying it you're supporting businesses like mine but also the farmers that grew the, um, the wool and the processes that turned the, the fleece and the wool into, um, into something that can be used as, as, um, as a yarn. So it is really, um, it's a special yarn special process and you are supporting um, a thriving Australian um, economy and businesses. So just keep winding. See I said it's not a, a who can get the best looking ball competition. This one is looking pretty funny. <laughs> but it's all about functionality when it comes to winding into, um, into balls. And the other thing that's really special about Homely Bliss is how it's made. So it's little bits of thin, thin bits of yarn um, that are twisted in lots of three. And then they're twisted in lots of three. And then they're twisted in lots of three. Um, and that means that the woolly fibery bits. So if you look at wool in a microscope, it's got all these little scaly bits that kind of stick out the side. And that's what has the tendency to fluff and felt um, and make wool kind of leave bits everywhere. You may have crocheted with some chunky yarns um, that do that. They kind of just go to fluff. <laughs> you get covered in fluff and your house gets covered in fluff. Um, but because of the little bits that are twisted in three and then they're twisted in lots of three, um, that holds those little woolly bits in, so they're, they're, <laughs> they're kept in by the twisting. I mean, it means that this is a yarn that doesn't, it's a wool, it's a merino wool yarn. Um, it's not a super wash, it's not machine washable, but it will look good being used all the time. Um, so that's important. It's um it's a quality, it's a premium yarn, and it's going to um it's gonna be let you use it every day, which is really important, especially when you're making chunky blankets and scarves and you want what you make to be used and loved and treasured um, for a really long time. Still winding, <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> And my center pool, my center pool ball is, is getting bigger. It is looking a bit funny, <laughs> but it is getting bigger. <laughs> oh. I normally, I normally don't wind them as a center pool ball. I normally just wind them as a, as a round ball and pop them in a basket. Um, when I kind of 
pull pull the yarn out to keep crocheting the um the ball just rolls around in the basket but maybe i should do this more often and get better at it it doesn't matter whatever works like i said before this winding from a skein into a ball is purely functional can i do this without ending up in a big mess <laughs> this is what happens if you don't pull the yarn out of the circles carefully you end up with a bit of a um a bird's nest but it looks like it's gonna be okay Keep my end free. Boop. <laughs> there we go. We're almost at the end. Again. There we go and just with your end tuck that in somewhere so it doesn't come unwound and then whether you've if you've done a center pull ball you just pull from the center um and if you've done a normal ball a non-center pull one you just grab your end um and work from there crochet from there so there you go that's how to turn a skein of homely bliss chunky yarn into a ball now you're ready to start crocheting